Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Kali Linux on your Android phone in 2025. Now the only requirement is that you have at least 40 gig of free space. Now head to eTechbox blog link in description. From here you can click on download Termox and download the latest release of Termox.apk. After downloading Termox, we also have to download NetHunter store, so search for it on Google. Now click on the first link to NetHunter App Store. From here we can download NetHunter Store. Now let's install Termox. And also install NetHunter Store. Install anyway. Now head to your home screen. So we have NetHunter store right there and we also have Temox which we've installed. Now let's open NetHunter store and then we can search for Kex. K E X. And here we can see NetHunter Kex. Now let's install NetHunter Kex. Allow from this source, install, install anyway. So here we go, this is net on TACX. Now let's open Termox. First, we are going to set up storage by entering Termox setup storage. Type it exactly as seen and then allow permission. Next, we are going to change the repository. So type in Termox dash change dash repo enter select main repository and then we can scroll down to mirrors by Albatross, which is what we're using. And then hit enter. Now it's going to take a few minutes to update. Now run pkg update and pkg upgrade. Type it as seen. And then hit enter. And it should update and upgrade the packages. Type in Y for yes if you get any prompts. Now type in pkg install wget which is what we are going to use to install Kali Linux. Now let's head back to the tech box and you can see install Kali NetHunter under step 2. Now we can either use the full installer minimal or nano. So I'm going to use the full installer so I'm just going to select the commands under full installer from wget to the end of that copy. Head back to Termox. Now let's paste and I hit enter. Now type in ls to view what's in the directory. So let's type in ls, hit enter. Now we have to make this file executable. So type in chmode plus x and then type in the file name install netunter dash foo, hit enter. And then next, we're going to type in ls and you can see the file name is now green. Now type in dot slash and then the file name install netunter dash foo. And then hit enter. Type in y for yes, continue and it's going to delete the root fs package. We are done with the installation. Now type in NetHunter Kex password P A S S W D. Hit enter and then enter the password which we're going to use to access this machine. Confirm the password. It won't be visible there, but it is keeping note of it. Hit enter and we are going to select N for no, we don't want a view only password. Now type in NetHunter Kex and 
hit enter and you can see Kali Linux should start running. Now you will see a port number which we are going to use to access Kali Linux. So you can see a port number on the screen 5901 which is our RFB port. Now that is what we are going to use. So let's head to NetHunter Kex on our screen. Allow. Type in your password under VNC password. And then you can see the port 590, replace it to 5901, connect. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux on your Android phone without rooting it. This is really easy and you can do whatever you want with Kali Linux on mobile. So from here you can access your Fi Explorer and you can also use all Kali Linux tools. You can also change input mode to whichever mode you prefer. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Now to stop this program, head back to Temox and then type in kex stop. Next type in exit and it should close the connection. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.